So today we're going to talk about carbon credit or carbon offsetting and uh, not necessarily on the definition and what they are. It's actually very interesting. I mean, it's been carbon credit has been existing for a while now, but in the last few years, especially, especially with this global warming getting worse, um, the market has been growing faster than crypto. But today I want to talk about how can carbon credit market benefit small businesses in the green sector? Because as usual, um, when, when there's a mechanism to solve a problem, the SMEs are the last um, benchmark or the last one to really benefit anything. It's always the big boys that really benefits. And I really tap into the carbon credit when I saw this article how Tesla is receiving hundreds of millions of dollars uh, because they're able to offset with their electrical uh, car uh, they're able to offset carbon credit but so we, we're gonna get into that we, we, we're gonna discuss so check it out um, and let me know what you think <laughs> Before we get deeper to how the impact of carbon credit or offsetting can bring to SME, let me discuss a little bit about what is carbon credit, uh, carbon offsets. As you can see here, you know, when we talk about carbon credit, it represents the right to emit that carbon. And carbon offset represents the production of a certain amount of sustainable energy to counterbalance the use of fossil fuels. So basically, all it says is there's companies out there, let's say a chemical company, right? They produce, they emit CO2 to the atmosphere. So they have, in most countries, they have a certain limit to how much pollution they can emit to the uh, atmosphere. And if you emit more than what you allow, then you have to offset that, uh, um, that emission. And that's when the carbon credit, carbon offset comes in. So you get credit. If you, if you overuse that credit, then you need to offset you can buy carbon offset from companies that are producing renewable energy, that are actually carbon negative, that are growing forests, so on and so forth. So those are the two key things, right? So the way it works, it's actually very interesting and very complex. Um, and it's not as transparent as I thought. I spent a lot of time doing research on this. And, you know, you basically have to get into a registry right, if you want to participate into this marketplace. So you have to get into a registry, and a registry is basically a database. A database where you, you so the process is you apply uh, to get on the registry, then you got to get audited, they got to come and visit you, make sure that before you even get any credit, you got to, and, and I'm talking about a project, so let's say you have a green project, you apply to get into the database. Then after you apply, they send an audit to make sure that what you say is true. Estimate it, how long, how much carbon, you know, carbon you can offset, so on and so forth. Then you get approved. Then you able to sell uh, your your offset carbon to a client that's going to buy it from you. So you selling uh, your carbon offset. Somebody has to buy it from you. And that's how you make money. And now we'll talk a little bit more on the different ways to, to, to sell those things. But right now, there's different type of registry. Right now, uh, there's the goldstandard.org. Uh, it's a very known one uh, that you can check. You can check out uh, also. There is uh, Vera. It's a very known one also. Uh, registry. And as I said, it's a database. You log in your project. 
it basically guarantees, so those registry basically guarantee that not only what you say is true, they can evaluate the quality of your carbon offsetting. There's carbon, there's blue carbon, um, there's white carbon. I forgot the other one. Uh, the blue one is the highest one. Uh, it's quality one. So the better quality, the more you get paid. And the way it is, is one carbon credit per ton of, of carbon emission. I mean, of carbon. So there's a cost to it. And it varies between $10 all the way to $100 per ton. Uh, there's also uh, this one, and this is what we're working on at ARED uh, to get in. Uh, that's actually the, the UN carbon credit process key, that is linked to the Kyoto Protocol. Now, to get in, it, it, it's really, um, it's an international one with a focus on developing countries, right? Uh, but they all have very long process. It, it, it can take over a year to get into those uh, uh, registry systems. And this particular one, we'll talk a little bit more. There's actually a run-in company that is part of that uh, registry system. Well, it's actually not a run-in company, sorry. It's actually a, a company doing business in Rwanda that is part of that uh, registry and um, that is in. So there's also... The Eastern uh, Africa Alliance of Carbon Mar Market and Climate Finance. So this is more of a consultant firm that helps company in East Africa to get into that. And we not taking advantage of this carbon credit market. African company are not taking advantage. Minority company, black companies are not taking advantage of this type of um, uh, marketplace. And I'm going to tell you why is it important for you guys to understand. If you have, if you work on a green project, recycling uh, project, solar project, uh, wind project, anything that has a, a green connotation to it, there is a possibility for you to qualify and to generate an additional revenue from this carbon credit marketplace. It's growing at a tremendous rate. And as the environment getting worse and worse, this carbon market is going to become key and the value of this market is going to increase dramatically because obviously, and I did a vlog, I put the link on the, on, on the YouTube, obviously what's happening now is the reality is most companies emitting carbon are not lowering their carbon emission. It's just the reality. The planes that fly across, all the chemical plants and all those big oil companies, they're not reducing the carbon footprint. So this carbon market is going to become the next standard. It's going to take a long time before we get to the to the to a carbon negative world. And and we talking about we we had 1.5 degrees. We're going to get to three. I have no doubt about that. The way things are going, it's not slowing down. It's just the reality. But there's more and more green projects coming on board. And I truly believe for social enterprise struggling to monetize or to build sustainable businesses, carbon credit is going to become a huge way or huge add-on to your revenue. So if you're a green company, you need to look at the carbon market very, very carefully. Unfortunately, the process is very complex. You're going to need a consultant. Most likely, you're not going to be able to achieve what you want to achieve by yourself. So I want to talk about how do you get, you know, into the marketplace? How do you sell your carbon? So there's basically three ways you can do that, right? How businesses purchase and how green companies sell their, their carbon uh, uh, offset aspect, right? So I'm, I'm going to briefly... Uh, talk about it. So one way is a market exchange place. So basically you get to the registry, you get approved. Now you can get access to a market exchange or marketplace where you go put your project and they have a list of company looking for project to offset their carbon that they're looking to buy like, and they're looking for interesting project. So they select what type of project they want to uh, um, invest in, right? So this is one way. 
market exchange. You can Google it. Um, there's quite a few market exchange out there. The other way is a broker, right? You get a broker um, that really look for clients for you, right? If you're a green project, you get a broker or vice versa. If you're a business that want to purchase carbon offset, they usually play the middleman. I think that the, the age of broker needs to end with technology. We don't need uh, of brokerage of sort that is not digital. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of, of um, digitization marketplace that opened the market to a much bigger uh, access to you know opportunities and, and purchaser and you can better negotiate your, your cost, so on and so forth. Right, but hey, there is brokers out there uh, that you can, I'm sure, Google. I don't know any. Uh, the last one is you deal directly with the company. You cut the middleman, right? And you have a deal with the big companies. Big companies, the Googles, the Microsoft, they buy carbon every year, massive amount. You have individual also buying carbon. Um, the 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 C the owner of Maverick uh, Basketball Court forgot a uh, uh, Mark. His name is Mark. I forgot his last name. Uh, billionaire. He buy carbons every every month. Uh, there's individual out there that that looking to offset the carbon. The C, the, the the chairman of uh, uh, Amazon also buy carbon from from what I, I've seen. When he takes he uses private planes, he trying to offset that carbon emission by carb, you know by by, by uh, buying carbon offset uh, from companies. So you can have a deal directly with a company. Uh, and these examples here, you can check out this article from terrapads.com. There's actually a few article, a, a few platform out there, Carbon Phone, Terrapads, that facilitate that th those deals. But you can directly sell your emission directly to companies or individuals. And that you don't need to necessarily be on the registry to do so on that particular deals, right? Because that's just a deal directly with the buyer. So um, this is uh, there's also e certification. It's a little bit different for carbon offset. It's, it's like a registry, but a different way uh, aspect. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Um, and of, of course, you have a lot of articles around, you know, what is credible carbon, what is not. That's why the registry come on board because there's a lot of aspect here. This is an example of a carbon trade exchange platform. Uh, you can check them out, CTX Global. It's a very interesting platform also. That's where you list your carbon and you can see they have different, you know, you can see some of their clients. Uh, you can see also some of their projects, some of their partnership. They also work with the gold standard registry. They have the biocarbon registry. They have the international carbon uh, registry. Uh, um, partners, uh, the UNFCCC that I mentioned earlier. Uh, there's quite a few of those out there. Uh, so yeah, that's the most one of the most known, the CTX Global. And I, I, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. So blockchains and, and carbon credit kind of uh, have a lot of similarities. So you see I have a lot of companies now trying to link carbon credit to NFT, which is very interesting, and building um, those digital assets on the blockchain, which makes sense because it adds a layer of security. I think that's the future uh, on the tech side, but of course, they're trying to link it to a, to a token. I'm not a big fan of that. And, you know, you have to buy their tokens to participate. And we've seen what happened with the the crypto uh, crisis right now where you realize that a lot of DeFi tokens are linked to other DeFi token and they created this, this uh, spiral. Um, you don't even know which country companies linked to other companies not knowing. And then you realize your investment is crumbling, not necessarily but because the, the actual crypto you bought is bad, but because that crypto bought or invest in another crypto that is bad and then everything crumbled. But as far as the technology itself, the blockchain aspect, I think there's a huge opportunity and that's going to be a market that's going to grow tremendously. So there's a lot of 
blockchain or carbon credit protocol um, uh, businesses out there that are growing very, very fast. Uh, so as far as a buyer, that's an easier way for you to buy into this carbon credit business. Because again, if you want to, as an investor, small investor, if you want to get into the carbon credit business and invest, you can't just buy carbon credit and sit on it, right? Because um, it fluctuates, but it, it's not for, for, for you to, to hold on. Now, they, they have marketplace, they have a, a stock marketplace you can buy, but this is the easiest way for you to get involved. You can buy one, two, or three token that is so-called linked to those carbon credit protocols. Uh, but that's one example that I, I kind of research and and I like what they're about to you know what they're working on, and they're trying to simplify the process, which is one of the biggest challenge right now. So now I'm going to talk about this project, uh, Delega.org. They have a project in Rwanda, right? It's the Tubeho Neza project, and um, they've been what what they do uh, as a company. Uh, they do a cooking stove, uh, what you call um, low carbon or clean cooking stove. I don't know how clean a cooking stove is, but it 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 lower the emission of cooking stove, right? So they've been approved by the UN certified CER certified emission reduction unit uh, that I mentioned earlier. Um, this one, if you want to check them out the one that we're working on also, that we're trying to apply for. And the interesting thing is we estimate they're going to get a, you know, $5 to $10 per ton of CO2 removed. Um, and they're planning to implement just in Rwanda 2.6 million stoves. So they're going to make a few million dollars a year on just that project, on just carbon, Right? And the company that helped them get there is called Base Carbon Project. They helped them. I think it's a consultant firm. They helped them get approved, right? Um, and it's a very interesting project. And that's just a perfect example of how a green project can really um, benefit from this. So if you look at the, the statistic, to, uh, today they have 640,000 stove they distributed they changed 3 million lives transformed 8.9 million tons of CO2 avoided right that they're going to pay they're going to be paid for that's a massive massive amount right that's a revenue that you can use to continue in growing your business that's definitely a huge opportunity and I, I truly believe carbon market will have a huge impact for green businesses. The problem today is that there hasn't been a mechanism, an easier mechanism to help smaller green businesses to get or participate in this type of carbon. But I'll do another video as we continue our process to, to, to get into this carbon credit uh, uh, spectrum with our project A right and see how it's going to go. But I, I, I truly see a better framework than donation, uh, uh, NGOs and all. Because you're actually doing something good. You're helping a company offsetting their carbon and you're getting paid for it. So it's actually a service that you uh, provide and it's going to keep growing and growing and growing. All right, let me know what you think about the video. Put some comment below. Uh, I hope you like the content. And um, if you participate on the, on the carbon project offsetting, let me know, uh, you know, how was the process? Uh, was it easy? Uh, what was the, the challenges? So on and so forth. All right, guys, take care.